Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of Fallout 4 mods. Hope everybody had a fantastic one. Today we've got some guns, we've got some shields, and we got some deadly, deadly friends. Let's get to it. Elysium AK by FXOX01, Duard Mostert, Space Pirate, and Haru. This AK isn't just any ordinary AK, it's the one from Elysium. You know, the movie about healthcare with Matt Damon and robots? That one. The Elysium AK has custom animations, sound effects, and a laser sight attachment. Ooh, it's like a Twizzler coming out of the end of your gun. You can also change the rounds to fire explosive, fire, and plasma, but not in that order of damage. Explosive is much more powerful than the rest. A lot. More. 10mm Pistol Reanimation Pack by War Daddy. Another inclusion to the War Daddy animation parade, this mod adds custom animations along with new sounds and a few tweaks. At a workbench, you can change the caliber to 44, along with some animation tweaks like reloading closer or further from your face, and sprinting options such as holding the weapon down or up as it is in the base game. A definite improvement for an underutilized weapon. Oh yeah. Shield Boy by Batuace. Just like a stealth boy, a shield boy is a one use time device that will protect you from just about anything. With 5,000 damage, rad, and energy resistance, a shield boy should protect you from most things. I did find that melee blows from death claws usually got through though, so, you know, it's a death claw. What are you gonna do? There's also an advanced version which has 6,000 resistance and it's also blue. Ooh, look at it go. It's like a magic egg you can see through. What's in there? Ooh, it's a lady version of me. Uh-oh. Institute Spectre and Banshee Armor Outfit by Reptile Eye. A cool armor with an optional file for separate helmet and armor. You also get a number of variations based on color, and the standard armor upgrades like making things hurt you less. That's what, it, that's what the upgrades basically do, you know? Nat Companion with Junior Power Armor by Johnny.net. Who's that girl in the power armor? Why, it's newspaper girl's little sister. Nat Companion has over 500 lines of dialogue, along with a set of her very own power armor, so we don't have to have nightmares like we did with Peter. Oh, God. Oh, Peter, no. No, Peter, don't go Now, instead of handing out papers, she'll be handing out death. That's all for now. Oh, okay. We admire we. Death Wings by Hopper31. That's right, he did it again. Death Wings are a combination of Death Claws and Sting Wings, this time replacing the original's Cazador counterpart from the Cazaclaw. Death Wings will spawn around level 36 wherever Death Claws can. They also have increased poison, damage, and energy resistance, move 50% faster, can take your job, and they deal poison damage. So, uh, so watch out. They're coming for you. Also, they're friends with Sting Wings, so that's nice. They can have parties and stuff. Oh, look at him. Hmm. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this week's Fallout 4 mods. I hope you enjoyed. As always, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments, and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching again. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the future. Away!